Hey Sonny here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to play this really easy tune. Uh, very fun song. By, uh, Travel Underfoot by Led Zeppelin. Uh, There's not a whole lot to this song, but it's a great rock and roll dance song. If you play out in the club or, uh, um, or play among parties, it's, you know, everybody loves Led Zeppelin. Woman and man. And uh, Plus this one has a dancing groove to it. It's just a great song to play. Uh, play live. You just play, uh, you know, it's just two, uh, two three riffs. Uh, at the most and I just repeat over and over and it's just a great song to, to dance to and before we started uh, I'm using my uh, uh, Wash Baron X50 Pro uh, I got it used uh, and I will do a review on this later but it's a nice guitar it's a strength through body Seymour Duncan custom custom breech pickup and uh, uh, 59 uh, jazz pickup in, in the neck uh, anyway so here it goes uh, so the full distortion of this guard will be We can dial down just a little bit for this song, so here it goes Second lick Third one So that's all the uh, uh, licks of the song. So the first part, uh, sort of like a B flat. The song's in the B flat. So I'm playing the G and B string only. I'm playing the third fret of G and B together. Uh, second fret of G and B together. Back to th third fret of G and B. So. And then after that you play. So it was 2 3 on the G, open G, third fret on the D, open D, third fret on the D, open G. I would do alternate picking down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Sorry. And then uh, once you get the second verse, you play exactly the same thing, but without playing the first part. You just go. Okay. Now the next part, the lick goes like this. Uh, you go from fifth fret on a G string, slap to seventh fret. Down pick, down pick on the fifth fret and slide up the seventh. Upward on the sixth fret on the high E string, and you do it again on the high E string on sixth fret. And you downward on the seventh fret on the G string. So you do the same thing from seventh fret to ninth fret, slide up from G string. And now you play the eighth fret on the E string. It's that same pattern, so it goes like this. Basically, what we are what I'm playing is a B flat power chord, B flat major chord, and C power chord. Because the uh, the high E string is the root note. And the G string, the note that we play is a th actually, actually that's the uh, major third uh, of the chord. So the seventh fret of the G string, which is a D note, uh, is the uh, major third of B flat major chord. And then the ninth fret on the G string, this is an E note. E is a major third of a C chord. Go back to and um, that's a shorter version. The longer version, he plays two more chords on top of that. He'll go from B flat, C to E flat, 11 position, 
and 13th fret. So that's a uh, F major chord. So the notes I'm playing here, you go slide from 9th fret. Let me play for you first. Continue. So from 9th fret all slap to 12th fret on the G. And then play the uh, 11th fret on the E string. Same pattern, show you. And then you slide from 12th fret on G string to 14th fret on the G string. Yeah. And play the 13th fret on the E string. So. So it's B flat, C, E flat, F ma F, next part, so what I'm playing here is basically a G chord, uh, So I'm playing the uh, uh, 10th fret of B and E string together, and then you put and you play 11th fret on the with your middle finger on the B string. So basically, I'm playing the 11th fret of the B string and 10th fret on the high E string. So that's a major third, uh, uh, B flat. I'm sorry, that's a B flat. So you got this perfect fourth of D and then the major third of B flat. Next is the uh, riff. So it's 10 and 11 on the B string, 12 and 10 on the G string, 12 on the D, 10 and 12 on the G. So that's the whole song. Uh, tremble on the foot. <laughs>